there's their sign, their um, map. I wonder if we, I should get out and go get a picture of it. I think there's some other ones in there too. Oh, you think so? Uh -huh. But yeah, if you want to go get it, that'd be fine. Okay. Sorry, come in. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now we're on Park Road 1C that leads between Bisher and Bastrop State Park. Today we're exploring out at Bisher State Park and I'm going to put the spelling up there at the top because yeah, definitely. yeah it is not pronounced the way that it looks. looks. It looks more like Bosher or Boucher but it's Bisher we asked. So um, today we're exploring out at Bisher State Park. It is not far from Bastrop State Park right. or the city of Bastrop and we're not far from Austin. So no, 30-40 uh, miles. Mm -hmm. So um, yesterday we took Scout out in the stroller, but today the trails are a lot more narrow. So today we're going to take, uh, turns. take turns. I've got a chair set up with a book and Bill's going to take off and then he's got his book and I'm going to take off and uh, we're just going to do it in spurts. Yep. We'll let you know what the trails are like. That's so, right. Uh, just while we have you here, we just want you to be sure and uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, give us a thumbs up. Cause, uh, and don't forget to ring the bell. That's right. So you can be notified the next time we post a video. Mm -hmm. Did you get your camera? Yeah, you got that. Got the camera right there. All right, you're set. Got your water. Got my water. Oh, this is the pocket that it folds. So how far are you going today? Uh, hopefully about three miles. Is yeah, it looks like that. But something to get the legs going and stretched out again. Bill's going to start coming up. This way is the um, part of the Pine Gulch Trail. And when he comes back, he'll actually go through the Roosevelt Cutoff and come back up through here, which again is the Pine Gulch Trail. So probably about a total of three miles. While Bill's gone, Scout and I are just going to hang out here. We've got some nuts, We've got my drink. Got my boy. I'm all set. This used to be a heavy loblolly pine forest here. And uh, they had a fire, well, 2011, but there's still some of the loblollies here. And there's a bunch of new ones growing.
right, so now it's my turn out on the trail. Bill got back, took him about an hour, so we'll see how long it takes me. And I'll show you a few sights along the way. off Roosevelt Loop and I'm heading back down Pine Gulch so I'm probably within a mile of getting back to Bill. So we're on a trail. Do you know the name of this trail? This one is Pine Gulch Trail. And when we get to the, we'll be able to turn left to go stay on Pine Gulch or right to go to Winding Woodland Trail. You can see all the new growth loblolly pines here. We're not going to go too far or too fast because we have scout. You think that's wind or you think that's noise coming from that Cancer Research Center? I think it may be noise coming from the Cancer Research Center because that's almost like a mechanical one. Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're out here at Bisher State Park on one of the trails walking around. And Bisher is next to Bastrop State Park. There was a major forest fire out here in 2011. And uh, a lost a lot of the loblolly pines around here. So, but Deanna has some facts and figures on the fire. Yes, it was called the Bastrop Complex Fire. It was the most devastating forest fire in Texas history. Um, it burned 32,000 acres. Uh, 1,673 homes and structures were lost and two people were killed. Um, it did the most damage in the Bastrop area in the Lost Pines where the Loblolly are and where the endangered Houston toad lives. Yeah, and didn't they say that they believed the fire was caused by there was a hurricane during that time and there were some real high winds in the mm -hmm. area and they feel like some of the tall loblollies fell on some power lines and mm -hmm. sparked and caught on fire. That's right. It was during the tropical storm uh, Lee that it happened. So if you come out here, you'll see lots of remnants still of the fire over, especially towards the Bastrop State Park. But you'll also see a lot of new undergrowth coming up and mm -hmm. they're really working hard to get it. So, so don't cross it off your list if you're near it just because it had a forest fire. It still has a lot of trails to it's hike on. It's beautiful. So. I'm here on the trail with my buddy, Scout. We're turning around and going back, and Bill's going to go on down a uh, winding woodland trail here a little bit. It goes about a mile and a half. He'll come back, and then I'll go. Uh, for those of you who are new here, the reason we do that is because Scout here, he is 16 and a half years old. He used to, if we went nine miles, he went nine miles, but... He's not able to do that anymore. As you can see, even the short distance that we went, he's already huffing and puffing. But he's a good boy and he's a good camping dog. So we don't mind babying him a little. So when Bill gets back, I'll go. And he'll sit with Scout for a little while. When the trails are paved and nice and, and wide, we'll take the stroller. Uh, and these look pretty wide, but there's place, places that are pretty narrow, so we won't take the stroller today. Ears and eyes don't work like they used to. 
But man alive, that sniffer is still going strong. Sheesh, I had to stop all the time just for him to sniff. He's a mess, but we love him. What are you doing back there, buddy? You ready to move on? No? Okay, we'll wait. They have a lot of nice hiking trails out here. So Deanna's gone back with Scout. We start out and just do a little bit with him and then one of us will go sit and take care. But if you're in the Austin area, East Austin is Bisher State Park. You wanna go out and do some day hiking. They do have some camping. It's kind of limited, very busy on the weekend and stuff. But man, they have some really nice hiking trails all in pines. They have the uh, lot, they call it the Lost Pines area. It's a variety of the Loblolly pine, but the ones that are here are a little more drought resistant than the ones in Far East Texas, you know, north of Houston. So, but it's still real beautiful. Woodland Winding Trail. Bill's already gone and come back and now it's my turn. So I'll probably use mostly Bill's footage because we're using the GoPro 9 to see how it does out on the trails and stuff. <music> take you between uh, Bisher State Park and Bastrop State Park. Well, we don't have the kayaks, though. a lot of low branches in here. We do have a lot of low branches. Well, there was, oh, here it is. It's right there. there leaving, is. leaving Bisher State, State Park. Park. 